ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like uh, to discuss in my paper the term agglomeration in context of early medieval archaeology from the East Central Europe. The term agglomeration is there very popular. Specialists in the early medieval archaeology use this term for the description of the waste, mostly fortified settlements, which accumulate plenty of various central functions, such as power, protection, crafts, or cult, and trade. At the very beginning, uh, I should demonstrate what we speak actually about. It is believed uh, that the great example of early medieval agglomerations from East Central Europe are so-called Great Moravian Central Places. Great Moravia uh, was very interesting um, polity, uh, which had risen on the east edge of uh, Frankish Empire at the beginning of the 9th century AD. Great Moravia belongs uh, to the basic pillars of the identity of current nations and states in the region. Uh, what makes uh, this history uh, interesting also for the general public? Uh, the backbone of the Great Moravian settlement structures are large settlements we call agglomerations. Among them, the most important is Pohansko, Mikulčice or Stare Miesto. The populated area of uh, these sites is comparable with the most important places of contemporary Europe, such as Regensburg, Haitabu or Köln. The term agglomeration or four towns is used not only by, but by Czech or Slovak archaeologists, but uh, also by the German scholars, such as Sebastian Bratra. From the early medieval roots grew up some con contemporary big cities, such as capital of the Czech Republic, Prague. Um, the main question which should be answered is, can we really use the term agglomeration for such kind of settlements? Some scholars are doubtful about this. This is one example, uh, one of the anonym reporters who work for the journal Medieval Archaeology. Uh, he or she rejected my older paper about this topic with the argument that the term agglomeration uh, has no clear definition and it is not appropriate to the description of such sites. Uh, this critic should be the reason why we need necessarily a definition of what constitutes an agglomeration in the early medieval central. Um, generally, uh, the settlement agglomeration should be an extended populated area with central functions and with linked suburbs such the definition in Wikipedia or Webster. Czech archaeologists uh, use very similar criterions in their description of uh, Great Moravian agglomeration. I have here some new examples from Lumir Poláček, Ludě Galuška, or me. Um, we can summarize the main attributes of early medieval agglomeration according to the Czech researcher, Czech scholars. The Agglomeration should be the waste populated area. There should be the formation of several settlement positions, production facilities, and burial grounds with churches. They should stay on the top of settlement hierarchy and should be very complex center. And perhaps also fortified settlements, but it is a little bit con controversial topic. I can give you now some several examples of these attributes from the Great Moravian Milieu. At first, this populated area. Uh, thanks to large-scale excavations, we have enough information about the populated area of Great Moravian agglomerations, which reach tens of hectares up to 100 hectares. Archaeological excavations are extended in the last time by massive magnometry survey. 
um, thank uh, to the large scale excavations as well geo uh, geophysics, we can also identify the inner structure of the agglomerations, for example, here in uh, Pohansko. The inner area of Great Moravian agglomerations was very systematically built up by regular settlement structures, in case of Pohansko by plots or yards. Uh, the density of uh, the settlements feature changed during the time depend on the grow or this line of the local population. Um, at the beginning of the 10th century, the Great Moravian society collapsed and uh, this huge agglomeration disappeared, actually. Uh, one other type of inner structure, uh, we know, for, for example, from Mikulčice, from the uh, 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 suburb of Bailey, where the buildings or the, the layout consists of rows of buildings. Uh, early medieval agglomeration consists of uh, several settlements positions such as suburbs, craftsmen's quarters, church precincts with graveyards or uh, residence building of the elites. A very good example is the agglomeration in Staré Miesto where the waste populated area was uh, divided in various zones with different functions. Uh, yeah for the craftsman area, areas of power, different settlements. On several places, archaeologists excavated the churches with very rich uh, graveyards. In the other parts of agglomerations indicate the finds of tools or half-finished products, the handicrafts art, uh, activities, for example, the jewelry production. <coughs> A very similar situation was discovered in Mikulčice where the whole infrastructure, including bridges, gates or roads, was preserved in archaeological context. The many churches uh, were dislocated along the road, which was obviously the main axis uh, of the whole agglomeration. More than 2,000 graves were concentrated uh, around or in the vicinity of churches, but also on the other places. Tools and huge concentration of crucibles indicate in Mikulčice industrial and craft production. Uh, Pohansko, the other great Moravian agglomeration, uh, in Pohansko, or from Pohansko, we now two churches, one inside the fortification, one outside in the unfortified suburb. The Pohansko craftsmen produced in the smithies the chain mails, as well as other warriors and equestrian gear. In the suburb, in the south of the agglomeration, uh, we now a very interesting uh, uh, finds from this part of the agglomeration. We know weapons and spurns and stirrups. Such kind of finds come comes not only from settlements feature but also from graves. These finds are scattered on the whole area of South Suburb, where we suppose the dwellings of warriors and their families. Uh, the early medieval agglomeration stood on the top of the settlement hierarchy. Uh, they are surrounded by agricultural settlements, which constitute the hinterland of the agglomeration. Yeah. So this concentration, these dots are actually the, the villages, agricultural villages in the, from the surrounding of the centers, agglomeration. The typical features in the villages uh, from the agriculture hinterland are storage pits for grain and sunken huts with stone owners. The grain pits are generally missing in the agglomerations itself. Uh, these places were actually more consumption sites. But uh, more to this topic uh, will be the next uh, paper from Karin. Um, the early medieval, early medieval agglomerations were very complex 
uh, we can find here the materialization of all levels of the early medieval society from the duke on the top to the peasant on the bottom. I can show you only one example. This is the magnate court uh, from Prohansko, which could be, according to our interpretation, a seat of Moravian duke. It should be his uh, palatium, uh, imitation of Carolingian Falco. Do we have any alternatives to the term agglomeration for these sites? For example, the German archaeologist Winter Ferring suggested the terms fort or fortified centers or even hill fort. Mm. If we discarded the fact that the majority of the discussed sites occurs in the flat plain and not on the hill, uh, we have to question also the characterization by the fortification. The early medieval agglomerations were fortified, of course, as we see of the example of Pohansko. But according to new dendrochronological dating, the fortification was built in the very late stage of the existence of these settlements. Our new knowledge differs from the previous dating of the sites. Also, it means this agglomeration were in the first uh, stage unfortified and at the end fortified. Let's come uh, to the short conclusion. If I should resume my paper, I can say that the term agglomeration is quite suitable uh, for the large urban settlements with central function in the East Central Europe. These settlements are more complex than the simple hill forts or strongholds. They were all not all the time fortified, but we cannot call them medieval cities yet. Thank you for it.